Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a simple makeup look. Something very easy, something sort of natural. Um, I don't have a direction for this. All I know is that I want it to be simple and natural. So yeah, let's get right into it. Your love is quick as ever Even in the shadows Let it kiss me For the time that I tell Alright, so right now my brows are looking a little bit thicker than usual and that's because I already used the brow pencil to fill them in a little bit and just like my last video, I do not have a mirror so I'm going to be looking into the viewfinder for most of the video so if I'm looking this way, that's why. Alright, so I already filled it in with the brow pencil like I said and I already have my concealer and foundation and stuff mixed up to match the shades that I want and I already have it on the brush so now I'm about... It's not going to focus. Alright, so now I'm going to clean up my brows. And the viewfinder is very far away from me, so it's hard for me to see anything right now. So I'm just, like, hoping I don't mess this up. Okay, and if you guys want to see a more in-depth tutorial on how to do brows, I uploaded one a while back. I'm going to put it, um, I'm actually going to make it pop up right here so that you can see it, so that you can go straight to the link if you want to now, or if you want to see it later, I'm also going to put it in the description box. Alright, so, this is not my best work, but... Considering the circumstances and how far this viewfinder is, it's not going to be the best today. So usually after I do my eyebrows and I set my... Okay. That looks horrible. Hold on. Yeah, so usually after I do my eyebrows, I go in and I start my foundation and stuff. But I'm not going to do that now because I'm trying to make this a quick tutorial. Alright, so I mix foundation and concealer for this because I do not have my exact foundation color right now. Because the last one that I had is finished. I was using the Fenty Beauty foundation. Uh, I think it's the Pro Filter. I th you know what? I'm not going to say anything because I don't want to say the wrong thing. <laughs> but I was using the Fenty Beauty foundation. And I'm out of that. So now I'm just mixing foundations together. And oh, well, foundations and concealers. All right, now let me get my foundation brush. Now, I like to work in sections because I don't like for my foundation to be patchy because I use um, I'm, I use matte foundations. So, I don't want... Guys, I can't... Oh, I found it. I don't like for my foundation to be patchy, like dry on one side and then have to go over and add more foundation later on. So, I'm working in sections. Okay... Get that all up in there. You can even put some over your eye too so it could blend seamlessly with your face. Because eyes do not like when the colors are way too different on the eyebrow. Like the concealer and under brows like completely far off from your natural skin tone. Because I hate that separation right here. And that happens to me a lot so that's something that even I have to work on. Where are you focusing? Okay. Alright, so this thing was not focusing at all at first. It seemed to be interested in the wall. Alright. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit and finish the rest of my foundation.
All right, so I'm going to be back for one more minute so I can show you how I outline the top of this brow. Now, like I said, I'm using a viewfinder, so this is not going to be the easiest task right now. But, okay, so I have the, the foundation, the foundation concealer concoction, and I'm just using this flat brush to go right over it to get the shape that I want. Now, I don't usually talk when I'm doing my eyebrows, like try to talk when I'm doing like very crucial parts of my eyebrows, but bear with me, okay? Bear with me. Just don't breathe. I promise the less you breathe, the easier it is, okay? All right, <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm just flattening this out. Just make it flat. Now, there's one thing, an important thing about making it flat, like flattening out the foundation and concealer, whatever that you use here. Because look, if you use a lot of foundation or concealer and then it, it gets all like clumped up up here, like lumpy and there's a lot of foundation, and you're blending it out, there's a chance that all of that can smear over your eyebrows and that that would be torture that would be a lot of pain I would probably cry so it's like just try to avoid that avoid smearing anything by making sure it's flat guys I don't know what's happening with my eyebrow I can't really see it's so far away guys it's so this is very okay that's as far as it can zoom in like this is a little space right here but like I don't want to <sighs> oh my god okay You know what, I'm going to use the brow pencil, um, the spoolie at the end of it. I'm going to lift up the brow just to, oh look at that, see, look, okay. That's all it was, that's all it was, guys, that's all it was. Okay, I'm going to do my forehead. I'm going to speed it up again because this is just my forehead and I want to finish this up. Alright, go. Alright, so guys, I went ahead and I went back under my brows because this one seemed a little bit thicker than this one. And I didn't really like that, so I just went back in and I cleaned it up. I went under it to lift it up to make it look a little bit more lifted, to have a little bit more space right here for the brow bone and stuff like that. Um, my eyebrows look a little wonky right now because I don't have a mirror. This viewfinder is killing me, but I'm doing my best with what I have. Alright, so... Next up, since I don't want to do, I don't want to do too much. I don't want to be too extra with this. I'm gonna go in with this concealer right here, the medium beige concealer by LA Girl Cosmetics. And normally I like to just go all right here. Well, not like a triangle, but like I would go right here. But I'm only gonna do a little bit because I don't want to have too much going on. I want it to look as clean as possible. So, I'm going to put a little bit here. Alright. And then, here again. Okay, that looks... It looks even, I, th I think. I mean, either way, it doesn't matter because it's going to be blended out anyways. I'm going to go in with that same brush that I was, well, yeah, brush that I was using before. I'm going to get some of the foundation mixture that I had made, and I'm going to put it right over it. Now, normally, I put it on the outer edge of it only, but I'm going to put it over it this time. Because I just want it to have a nice, cold-looking 
undertone, you know, something nice and clean. It's a little bit bright, but not too bright. I'm going in with my Real Techniques setting brush. This one right here, the Real Techniques setting brush. All right, and then I'm gonna be blending this out. This is like the best setting brush ever, okay? The best brush to blend with, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pat everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but you know, the high points, where it's supposed to be. Oh, sorry, I got really quiet all of a sudden, but I was just, you know, I was focused. And I was honestly admiring how easy this is just blending out right now. Okay, I'm gonna bring a little bit of that up here too, so it could be a nice seamless transition. Well, not even transition, I just want it to be seamless, you know? Alright, now this side. You know, I actually don't remember if I even added foundation onto this side. I don't remember, guys. Guys, my memory is all over the place right now. Um, did you guys see me put foundation on this side? I don't remember. Okay, well, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> you gotta set it anyway. We on quarantine, you know, and... Well, life. Yeah, I don't know if I did. I don't think I did for some reason. I'm a little nervous. So I'm still just going to add some of that foundation here anyway. Because I'm just, I don't know, I'm a little, I'm not at ease right now with that. Or it could be that there's just more brightness on this side too. So, okay. Now, I'm gonna, ew, I got foundation on my pinky. All right, I'm doing the same for the middle now. I, um, not for the middle, sorry, my forehead. Um, I'm gonna do the same. I didn't want to add it early because I didn't want it to get dry. So I'm gonna add that concealer here. Make sure it's flat as possible so it's less to blend. And I'm gonna go straight down. Straight. Okay, I feel like that was too much and I messed myself up. Alright, so I'm going with the chin. I'm not doing too much on the chin now. Alright, that same foundation mixture. Right over the concealer. Alright, so up close it just looks like one um, same shade. Focus. But it's not, so like when I turn a little bit, you might see the tint of the foundation there. Alright. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to still... Actually, no, that's extra. I was going to add a little bit more of the foundation in the mixture, but I'm going to leave it. So now it's time to blend with the same brush. Circle and then continue to extend the circle. Now that is very yellow. Mm -mm. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe some of the concealer off of the brush because I don't want this to end up going too, too wild now. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and set. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It's not extremely translucent, but it's yeah, it'll do. So I am officially running out of Laura Mercier setting powder. All right. Guess I'm gonna have to spend some more money. Great. <laughs> okay, there we go. And down the bridge of the nose. Just setting, setting, setting. I just want to point out that this is the first time I've actually been able to do my entire base, like foundation, concealer, everything, 
um, for this long without having to stop the camera, change the battery, all that. You know, I'm. That just shows that I'm making progress. You know, because I used to take like a whole hour to do my foundation and everything. Just trying so hard, but practice makes perfect. All right, so I'm not gonna leave this here. I'm not gonna let it set. Um, I'm gonna. Ooh, there is blush on this brush. Oh well. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna sweep that away. All right, so now that I have my foundation done and everything, now I want to actually use setting spray to set it to set it before I contour and everything. So I'm using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. Now, I, I'll be honest, this is not the best setting spray that I've used. Um, at first, I really loved it, but I'm not going to lie. Now, like over time, I see how dry it makes me. Like It makes my skin like really dry, and it feels kind of weird. But, I mean, I like using it because it's a smell, and it's all I have. But, I mean, I don't know. It could just be the foundation that I use. Maybe it works with certain foundations, maybe just not with the ones that I use. And it might be different today. We'll see. Okay. All right. And right now, I'm gonna go back in with this little setting brush right here, and I'm gonna set over my eyes so so it can be flat and even. Now I'm gonna go in with the contour. So I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Tantor Contour Bronzer Cream thingy. Yeah, and I'm using the shade medium. Alright, so let me back up a little bit so you can see all the points that I'm going to be, all the places that I'm going to be applying this. Alright, so I'm going to take a little bit on this little brush right here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to be going above my forehead. Alright, so like a little bit of dots right there, not too much because with this, um, with this bronzer cream, a little bit goes a long way. But in a good way, so it's not like, even though it looks dark right here, it's not going to stay that dark. Like, it's going to actually like blend in very well, especially when you use the foundation brush, which is what I always use. I use my foundation brush to blend it out. That way it blends a lot easier into the foundation that's already on my face. Now, I don't know why this just popped into my head, but I'm thinking about Korean dramas right now. Just Korean shows on Netflix and anywhere else. If you guys could recommend me some to watch, that would be really nice. I just finished watching The Inheritors, um, but on a different website. It's called The Heirs, but it's called The Inheritors on Netflix, and I fell in love, except I was heartbroken when it ended because I felt like it ended so fast. You know, it's like, now what do I do with my life? Because I didn't finish watching it, and I'm like, damn, that's it? Come on. I was hoping for more, but I mean, it ended really well. I just, I wanted more. <laughs> but yeah, so if you guys have any Korean drama recommendations, that would be really nice. It could be on Netflix or any other streaming thing. And please let me know ahead of time if I'm going to have to pay for it, okay? So I could prepare, prepare myself. Okay, I got to be careful with this. So it looks like a lot, but trust me, it's not. It blends out really nice and smooth. So I'm going to put some here too, up here, because remember, your shadows need to match. Like, you don't want this to be all slimmed out but then all of a sudden just like big and bulky right here you want to make sure the shadows match each other very well foundation brush all right so i'm going to be blending this out you could pat it down or you could you can actually swipe you could do all that but for right now i think i'm just going to be patting it down and i'm going to do a mixture of both i'm going to be patting it down and swiping just a little because i want it to be smooth but i also don't want it to be too excessive now look so you can see like I said before it doesn't it's not overpowering 
So the um, the bronzer cream, tan contour bronzer cream, like I said, it blends perfectly into their foundation, into the skin, all of that. I would probably cry if I was using a bronzer cream. I bought a bronzer cream um, just to find out that it's like too pigmented and then all my foundation is ruined. Yeah. So this, this right here, this bronzer cream is perfect. Well, it's perfect for me anyway. Especially with me. Like, I have oily skin. And it's moisturizing. However, because I use matte foundation, it's like it gives me the perfect balance between the matte and the hydration that I need. I know. Because, like, where I'm usually, where I'm mo mostly oily is, like, around the T-zone. Right? Like, where my nose is, my forehead. My forehead gets oily, but not, like, excessively. But my forehead, my nose, and sometimes around my chin, like under, but yeah, it's just, I like to have this balance of moisture and, you know, it, it helps, it really helps. Now, not gonna lie, one time I have forgot, hey, let me tell you guys something, this story, right? So one time I was doing my makeup, and it wasn't for a video. I was going out, right? So I was going out somewhere, and I, I don't know if I was in a rush or if I, I had too much on my mind. But yeah, I was doing my foundation, and everything looked nice, you know? Everything looked great. I finished doing my makeup and all, you know? Everything looked swell. But then, when I get to my destination, when I get to where I was supposed to be, I look in the mirror and I notice that there is no foundation here at all. It was like a rectangle with no foundation. Nothing. Nothing at all. It was embarrassing. Oh. That did not just happen. Yeah, it was embarrassing. I mean, I don't know if anybody noticed it, but I sure did. Now let me ask you, what's worse? When you first notice something and you're like, whoa, I hope nobody saw that. Or when someone else notices it, points it out, and then you wonder how many other people saw it. Like, do you, are you more nervous or more anxious or do you get more concerned when you're the one that spots the issue and you're just thinking, like, okay, I don't know if anybody saw it. Or do you get more nervous and more paranoid when somebody else points it out to you. I'm going to use the same brush that I had used to blend out the concealer on my eyes. If I could find it. I have the brushes on my lap right now. Okay. So, I'm going to I'm going to zoom in actually. I'm going to zoom in. Perfect. I'm using the same brush. Don't mind me. I'm going to look at the viewfinder. I'm going to start from down here. And I'm, blend, I'm blending downwards. You never blend this way. I mean, you can if you want to. but um, You can blend in any direction. Just don't blend this way. Alright? Just, just, trust me. Alright, so you're going to come from here and then go down this way. You could even go up and down if you want, but be careful not to go this way. Or else you're highlight is just going to be gone. Alright, and you see, look at the shadow here. Alright, so look, this is what I was talking about when I said shadow. So look at how this matches. So it looks like a regular shadow, but I mean, it, it's sort of a shadow, but it's, it's also the concealer. And it shows better because, okay, so I have a ring light directly in front of me. And you can still see the shadow matching. It looks like a shadow either way. Let me just smooth this line out. Okay, so let's smooth out. And you can see that shadow, it follows each other. It just follows in one straight line. So when you're looking this way, it matches. You know? It matches. So you want to make sure that's there. Alright, so now I'm going to be doing this side. And since this is my right hand, it's easier for me to do like this. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that for up here so you can see another way. So you can also swipe up instead of only just 
going downwards. You can swipe up just like that. You can swipe up and down, up and down. Thank you. All right, and then after all that, you can still swipe down. Just don't swipe up. Okay. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more setting spray. Not setting spray, what on earth? With some setting powder. Alright, so I'm just going to put, pat, you know, press that down here. Alright, and this is just for now, so I'm not going to, you know, keep it like that. This is just for now. Because I want, I want the center of my forehead to match the shade that's on the bridge of my nose. So I don't want this to be like extremely light, and then the top of my forehead is just like really dark. So it's like two different things. Like you can see the line separating. I don't want that. I want them to look like they coexist. Like they can coexist. They can live together in harmony. You know? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some blush. I'm using the Sephora blush, it's the duo something shade Snapdragon. Yeah, all right, focus. Okay, because I still didn't do my eyes. Smile, I can't see. There we go, it's a little bit. Smile. Now it's time for some foundation. All right, so let me grab my phone. Did I say foundation? I meant eyeshadow. Guys, I'm going crazy. I want to go into a palette that I haven't used in God knows how long. I bought this maybe three years ago. I bought this three years ago, and it's it looks almost untouched. But this is the first ever found. This is the first ever eyeshadow palette that I've ever bought from Morphe, ever, ever. I was in love with this thing when I first got it. Now it's just sitting in the drawer, collecting dust. Not that I don't like it, it's just because I had new ones from Morphe in other places and I just, well, you know how that goes. So I'm gonna grab it again today. It probably doesn't even wanna see me right now, but it's whatever. Alright, so I don't know what shade I'm going to go in with today because I want this to look as clean as possible. As clean. Okay. I'm going to do two different things here. I'm going to grab this shade right here. No, I'm not. What am I going to do? I don't want to do so much to the point where it just... It's just not as clean. So I'm going to go in this with this shade right here. Oh, sorry, y'all. With this shade right here. Okay, now I don't know, look, I don't know how this is going to look on my eyes, but the thing is, I have the foundation here, like there's foundation and concealer there, and you see the color of my skin. Now, this can go one way or the other, this could either look ashy or this can also, also look just beautiful and simple and I don't know what's going to happen, but I can't wait to find out. Uh -uh, hold up. Or maybe I should go. You know what? Nope, scratch that. I'm going to go in with the one next to it. Where it's at. This one right here. Focus. This one. I don't know. I'll just do both. Y'all, I'm nervous. No, I'm not. I know what I'm doing. Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this last one here because I need a little bit of warmth in there. I need some warmth, like a little bit. Oh, and also, this is the Morphe 25A palette, in case anybody was wondering. I don't even know if that's still there anymore. I don't know, but 25A. Tap it off a little bit. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to zoom in because, y'all, I can't see. 
Dang, that's it? Okay, let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit up a little bit. I'm liking this a little. It's, it's slightly growing on me a little. Next eye. And I'm going to go in with this shade that's on top of it. So this is the one that I had used. Focus. This is the one that I used, and I'm going in with this one right here. Now, on the camera, it looks really pale, but it's not. It's just only... Eh. Actually, I'm going to use a different... Br no, I'm not. I'm going to use the same brush. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to use the same brush. Okay. So I'm going to pat that right over it. It's not very different in color. But it's enough. Alright, so right now I believe I'm ready to wipe this off of my nose. I'm going to take this fluffy pink brush right here. This one. And wipe it off. Um, I'm going to use the foundation brush again real quick. Because I don't like the how... Like, okay, so off camera, the blush looks fine. But because I'm going to be doing, like, I'm going to be working on my other channel, like, right after this, I want to make sure that if the light is in front of me, it doesn't look like... I don't want the blush to look crazy. So, I'm going to take this foundation brush, and I'm going to go right... Ooh, hold up. I'm going to go right over... Oh, my God. I'm gonna go right over it. Oh, that was a terrible mistake. There was foundation on it. Oh. I mean, it's not so bad. Okay. Okay. It blended out. Okay. So that, I guess that means I have to make the same mistake on the other side then. Okay, so far so good. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little brush and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this brush right here and I'm gonna make like a little eyeliner look with brown foundation here. I'm gonna take some mascara now and I'm gonna use that to finish off. I'm not going to be putting on any lashes because, well, for one, I don't know where they are. And two, I don't think I really need them right now. It would look a lot better with them, but I'm fine. I get it. And for those of you who are probably confused as to how I don't know where my lashes are, I don't own a lot. And I've never owned a lot. I've always bought, like, one pack at a time. And until I lose that pack, I'm not buying a new one. Once I find a pack of a uh, pair of lashes that I love, I stick to it. But I make sure I get like a multi pack, like as in like one that has many of them in the pack, and not just one pair. Now, I mean, sometimes I buy single pairs, but that's when I have somewhere to be, you know. Oh, that looks great. Get the lashes. Okay. So guys, it looked like I had spoken way too soon. So my card got full and I wasn't able to record anything else because I was not able to transfer all the videos to my laptop in time before I had to go out. So this is like 12 o'clock in the morning, like 12 a.m. right now. I'm just coming back home and I figured I would just come back after I worn it throughout the day so you guys could see how the pattern 
the powder how the powder kind of worked into my skin a little bit because as i mentioned before it like it makes my skin really dry and stuff but um yeah this is how i'm looking at 12 a.m i think i did my makeup around maybe like around four no 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 it was way earlier than that maybe like around two like one or two um and this is how i came out the rest of the day i haven't had to touch up anything add any more powder or foundation or anything this is how it's been all day um so it's still i would say the parts where i added the powder are still holding up no sweat has gone through um which is kind of what i expected because you know it dries my skin a little bit but it looks fine um everything else looks okay please don't mind the mess in the background i just got home all right um i didn't get to clean earlier but yeah this is how it's looking so far everything is good except i mean if anything if i was needing a touch-up i'll probably just go back in with some like um powder with some uh maybe not setting powder per se but like a found like a compact powder you know just to get it all smoothed out again but other than that everything is fine i didn't sweat i didn't have to wipe anything or blot anything out uh yeah this is how it turned out anyway yeah I'm really tired, so I'm going to try to hurry up and get to bed. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This is the very end of the video. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys check out my other videos on my channel and my other channels as well. Uh, yeah, peace.